You there, open the door. Hmm. A little short to be a commander, aren't you? Who are you? Why, I am Major Mugshot. Huh? Mugshot? I've never heard of you. Ha! Huh. You dare question me? Son, I've been a guard since you were just a squealing piglet. Wait until I tell the general about this. I hear he loves pork chops. Wait, I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. Please, go right in. Hi. You might want to put on that armor before the guards spot you. That samurai armor should do the trick here. I must have read about him in the Thievius Raccoonus a million times. Hey, Ryoichi Cooper, are you okay? Your guards all seem to make very poor jokes. Come on, I'm not one of those bozos. I'm here to bust you out. The name's Sly. Ah, uh, I see. A fellow ninja. Very good. You will need to make your way to the Dragon Bridge to reach this cage. Hurry up! Okay, I'll be there soon. Just... stay put. <laughs> Very funny. Why? You might want to put on that armor before the guards spot you. I gotta hurry. No way I can let this guy down.
Ryuichi invented the ninja spire jump. He's awesome! Fly, I don't think you can break the lock on that gate! And even if you could, there's no time! Thanks, Bentley. How about some good news? Look around, Fly! One of these guards must have the key! See? That's more like it. You won't be a prisoner much longer. this cage <laughs> yeah I didn't want to alarm you but my full name is Sly Cooper uh, I'm your relative from the future do not worry ninja are never alarmed with all that has happened here lately I believe you oh, oh, oh. now perhaps you would open the cage so that we may escape certain death right of course uh, ah.
After rescuing Ryuichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time for family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryuichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe, usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice, armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Well, we had found him, and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop. Thank <laughs> you.